Hello everyone, Meatphone here, and this next game is about to be happening here as you're about to see the tough teams in between the rival matchup. This is not definitely the rival matchup that we're looking for, but if you always know what the rival team is for the Washington Capitals, well, there might be something else that we are calling for, is the next matchup. It's the Tampa Bay Bolts facing against Washington Capitals. As you may have already heard that Steven Stamkos has his 500 goals of the season. He is well phrased to play the best part of his shooting ability. And congratulations to uh, Steven Stamkos. Well, we're definitely seeing him how his response can take over the ability and make the best one here count. As you just may not heard of the next part of the rivals, here as you may have noticed, that couple players may have it all to take it over right in between from the head. And here's the uh, here's a look at the uh, the rivals how they how they have done. Well, as you may have known, the biggest rival matchup they played against was the Carolina Hurricanes. Because of that one here, in the Washington Capitals and the Hurricanes is undeniable, and that was a divisional alignment in the recent years. That's two foes have been extremely close, and that was as a general rule. Despite that the Capitals are dominating the standings, they may have another ability they are trying to get over with, but their secondary rival might be the next one, or third rival match. We don't know what it will be, but that was the top one, that was across from here and taking things all over the board. And that one here in Tampa Bay Lightning, that was the date that was founded in 1992. And that was a long haul that was definitely happened to be here. And that was definitely because of what just happened. If there is another way to get over by Ovechkin, they couldn't just get things over with. Anyway, let's speaking of Ovechkin, here are the lineups for the group. He has his Andrew Vesilevsky, a starting goalie for the Bolts, along with Vector Hedman and Nikita Kucherov. As with those three guys, they have uh, some quite moves in between from the two. As you may have just heard, that one of the players have just to give out of ability that are keeping things under control. Here, as for the Tampa Bay Lightnings, they have some pretty defacient score and a result. Controllerness was the Ely Wild save abilities. That was really well on the face that was to give things all a good run. Then Victor Hedman, stick him up, Ely defensive stick, and Kucherov with the make it snappy ability. As with that one, Steven Stamkos, a 1T. And on the other side right now, the Capitals is Alex Ovechkin, John Carlson and Evgeny Kuznetsov. Well, as you may have just heard, it's Kuznetsov. Kuznetsov. So try to get this one name right if you don't know how to say it. Well, don't try to like uh, take anything over if you want to see it. Anyway, going back into this one is the Washington Capitals. They have one way to get over as Alex Ovechkin also has a one T, and John Carlson has a thunder clap. With the elite slap shot from the point and taking things right around the board. They can try to keep him over and look at the other hand to try to keep him from tight. Now it's time to get into the game as we have Greg, Greg Ferraro and Jay Zabolski along with Kelly. Let's get the game started. I'll be back for the post game show after this game. See you all later. Strong. Slides it back to the blue line. 
Two minute penalty for the ball for tripping for a slash. It's time for your Kepler's power play. Two minute penalty for slashing. And so a call with the slash. Time of the penalty, 1.33 remaining in the first period. period around the, the caps of those zone. Two-minute penalty for the Washington Capitals. Number five, yeah, that's part of us. Time and a penalty. Penalty. Two three remaining in the first period of the game. Yeah. 
lots of time left here in this frame. One nothing the score. The Bulls win it. Puts it on there. Stopped by the goaltender. Had a little piece of that one. Washington's got it on the way. The Bulls gain possession in their own end. Quick pass to Paul. Thank you. 
Tampa Bay goal, his first goal of the game this season. Scored by number 91, Steven Samkos. His first assist here by uh, number uh, Ryan Fulton. Time of the goal, 16-21 remaining in the first period. 2-1-1 on one here for, uh, for the Tampa Bay in, in, in the top uh, in offense. The Capitals today, you know, in a 6-5 of the game and the shots on goal. First period. Capitals here for the two on one to play it. And Tampa Bay Lightning here with 26 shots on goals. Coming up after this. It's now time for your Pep Power Plays. They've been working on a couple of things in practice, but this is what they set up earlier. Three players across the top. The shot is coming from either 
side of the wing or the middle, and the traffic's going to jam in. Two minute penalty for Tampa Bay. Number 20, Braden Boyd for Sashi. Time and a penalty, 1745. Nine remaining, eight and four D Caps. Power play. Is now free on five. And with that call by the officials, it's a long five on three set to begin. Hey, they say green is good. Get one, get Tampa Bay penalty number point five. Penrith Kuchakov, two minutes two for slashing. Common the penalty. Four forty-three remaining in the second period. Heard it cuts. Power play. Back at the point they set it up. And it'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Strong. And now it's over to Trespassing. And it's not in the last save as play continues.
Washington penalty, two minutes for slashing. Penalty killers are going to have to go to work now. They've got that one more lead that they'll try to defend. Tampa Bay's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. You never really know when the chance to tie a game will come. But now you've got a Washington penalty, number uh, number 24 is Sherry, two minutes for interview appearance. Time in the penalty, 11.33 remaining in the second period for the Tampa Bay power play. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Receives the pass. Tampa Bay goal, his, his first goal of the power play, scored by number 10, Corey Perry. And his first assist here by Andy Kalar. Time of the goal, 11 11 09 remaining in the second period. Tampa Bay goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 11, Alex Kilford. His first assist here by number, number 17, Brandon Paul, and by number 20, Steven Stamkos. Time of the goal, 34 remaining in the second period. With a 13 view shot here on goal for the Tampa Bay, and 43 minutes. And 43 crowd now for Washington Capitals here in the first, second period of the game. Slides it 
across to Cole. Into the offensive zone. The Lightning has it now. Oh, he can follow that one with the pad. Across the line, down to the floor. Moves it quickly over to Miller. And then it goes off side and front and doesn't reach the net. Pass broken up. Takes the feed. The Capitals carry it on the wall. One minute remaining in the second period of the game. Just one goal separating these two 
First goal in the season score by number 14, uh, Harlan. His first assist here by, uh, by number uh, uh, 12. Time of the goal. 7 12 remaining in the third period. Momentum is clearly switched out, man. Back to back goals for 
Tampa Bay goal, his second goal of the season, scored by number 17, Alex Elhorn. His first of his since the video goal here by number 8, Cohen. Tommy the goal. Hold. It's 11.33 remaining in the third period of the game. Tampa Bay. Washington Cats here on offensive and defensive. The final free talk and stay free on and free on four range. Range on offensive defense.
Four minutes to play in the third period. Well, it has been a phenomenon with the game. The number rival matchup in between by the two. Tampa Bay Lightnings are trying to fight back for the answer. After all, last season, with the first time here that they have already lost against the Mount Montreal Canadiens, they were definitely tough to try to take them over. And without them, they were unbeatable to take over with the teams and from each game at Tampa and one game with the win here at Montreal. This wasn't the happening of the first part that was there before. It was not the only part of the game in the Eastern Conference and Western Conference. This was all it does turn out. It was just a, a North and the Central matchup. That was all it took, but nothing was killed out momentum with the COVID-19 to stick with their teams. So I have nothing else to say about this, but this was all it did turn out. Now it did have to be a tough one ability. Now it comes down to overtime. A, a great deflection with a high stick and kick it off here with the stick to try to answer back for Keller. Scheller, I mean, I'm just not sure if I said it right, but the, to tell about that one, this was all it does took. A lot of parts was turned out big. So now, it all comes down to overtime. Tampa Bay and Washington are ready to do it again. We'll have to see which player has the best to take the ability in. So with that, it's go time. Thank you. 
His first assist here by number eight, I had Oak Town. Here we go, 343 remaining in the overtime. And that is your game. Well, folks, this was all it turned out. That the goal winner was the Capitals. Crush out. And the Bolts that have already lost two games in the season. Already won for the Montreal Canadiens 1-0. And for this season, it was 6-5. So that was all it did turn out to be just a breakable look. They finally succeeded. And just like the same score as you've seen in the last game of the Red Wings and the Hurricanes, this was much that tougher than everybody was looking for. But now you know, this was a fantastic part of this game. A rivalry matchup in between Tampa Bay and Washington. I hope you really enjoyed this one too. Well, I've enjoyed it too. But just too much to say about a lot of heavy hits in between by those two. Because the Bolts really seem to be a good uh, good team here in the central re region of the division. Well, in that case, there's nothing to tell about that one. It's just the Atlantic coast to bring here from the nearby, nearby the ocean down in the southeast. So at that point, it's time now to present your three stars of the game. First up, I will take a look at here how about the X players have done, and then we'll just keep it right in between. So. On ice was not bad for Veseleski, really well out of the play, but just all it turned out, it was very hard to get this thing a figuration and try to keep it over and try to stick it out as they can. And from that moment, importantly, they really have to heave it up big time. Here are your free star players in the game. Number three, we have is the only person that done it the most, Anthony Manfa, a goal and a two assists. A great deflection that went right in it and just went slap shot at the power play goal. He just had it all. Number two was Alex Killorn. Two goals, an assist, and two hits. That was turned out to be an ankle move around Kilmer. That was all it did turn out, just like he done. And your number one star, Dylan Strom. Two goals, an assist, and a winning game here against the Bolts by a lost puck here from the net and the game winning in overtime. Wow, this was definitely a toughest matchup that everyone has ever seen. Like this one goes very far back to back insane scores. So at that point, this was definitely an amazing game that did turn out to be one of the best. And your next game, we will see them come back towards. We will have another one to bring back with you. We will be doing the next one as the Sharks take on against the Canucks at Rogers Arena in Vancouver. The next commentary we will have is, we'll have this Silver Spoon, and of course on the other side of it, we'll be on a different changeup, as we will have another look on the upper build opportunity advantage, and we will have another look on the range here of the player. Son of Beast on center ice, and on the upper corner and in between, it will be, you know, tough ones. It really just uh, how hard they can definitely get. Test two. But now I'm really there. Actually, we'll take another quick, uh, quick moment. We'll give it back off to Paintbrush. He can definitely do that. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out to everyone on Hockey Chance and for hockey favorites. For a while, as the NHL on EA Sports Style. Make sure to subscribe to this channel of Center Beast. If you don't, somebody will. And follow him on the social media, of course, to have more. Right ahead. Links are in the description. Me phone's out of here. Thanks for tuning with us in, and we'll see you next time. Good night, everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.